Yeah, I'm here. Figured I'd get on here and see what people's got to say. Hi, baby Jane. Yeah, tell everybody Bond's crazy. He ain't got court tomorrow. If anything, he's going in there to talk to the lawyers and trying to get it to file again. Vaughn Hilton better check his emails. He'll find out he got one from the lawyer. Hello? Hello? You are? What can I do for you? I'm all right. What can I do for you? Try that one again. You were breaking up on me. Uh, the doctors already took care of all that. Yep. Oh, he's going to get sued for $1,500. I wouldn't worry about getting sued. I'd be worried about going in a straight jacket. He says he's going to bring all them witnesses. I can't wait to meet these witnesses. No, there ain't no fat ones right now. They're all skinny, Dan. We got to wait until right before went, right before summer's over. That's when they're fatties. Hello, Marshall. Hi, Toby. Well, yeah, he's going to have to come up with the money or they'll put a lien on the property. Exactly. I am doing okay, Rudolph. He has no court case at the moment, Dan. He gave Jim and Millie a paper saying that he wanted all this, that, and everything else, or he's taking them to court. Well, they, he got an email from Jim and Millie's lawyer today, so I'm waiting for him to go online. I'm waiting for him to say something. He says he was a good father, 
I'm going to tell you, any man that does not go there and watch his son be born or daughter be born, you ain't even a man. I left my job to go watch my kids be born. That's what I say, side chain. He's going to be lucky he don't get a white jacket. I don't know at the moment, Dan. I'm waiting for it to come to me right now. They're sending Millie a copy of it. Millie said she'll send me a copy of it. Vaughn Hilton said I was crazy because I said his mother is alive. I say he's crazy because he says the earth is flat. And I got news for everybody. If somebody had $50 million, they could hide their own death. Sorry to tell you, they could. Do you think she really gave a shit about all them properties? She just wanted to make sure she had money to take her to the rest of her life. And she did. Probably tomorrow, Richie. <clears throat> They're going to round us all up tomorrow. We're all going to prison tomorrow. The bonds hell sell. No doubt, side chain. Yeah, exactly, Brian. Don't put me wrong. It's a very beautiful state. Peaceful. Love the people. But $50 million? How? She can buy half of Kentucky with $50 million, Not just a couple little pieces of property. Tell you the truth, I've never even seen a war vine. I don't even know what a war vine is. The Sessler property is where Jim and Millie lives. They bought it from Ann Alice a long time ago. Yes, Vaughn Hilton did live there. Yes, Vaughn Hilton had to move because his mommy got him that brand new trailer she got for herself. And she moved him into the one he was living in. So the trailer that Vaughn Hilton used to live in with his kids, that was his mom's trailer. Jim and Millie's paid that off. There's no deed. Uh, there, 
Hell, Jim and Millie's put more money into the property than he even paid for it. That's what he's doing, whatever. Aha, Richie Rags. No, Flood, he has no court date. He hasn't been ordered to go to court. Nobody's got court papers yet. That's why I couldn't understand why he said we had court tomorrow. There's no court date for us. Might be a court date for him to get a nut. War jacket. think that's what they need to do. They need to put him in a straight jacket tomorrow. I don't know if he's ever worked or not. He says he has, but... Telephone number, Manchester Hospital. I would too, Rags. I'm here. I'm just muting it for a minute, people.
Want to make sure you're okay. Well, and that's what the nurse said. They're waiting for the test results to come back. They stick that thing up your nose. Yeah, they're checking you for the flu. Well, I know. Nobody likes to have it up their nose. Hi, David. Yes, honey, I know. I'm on live, baby. But I did want to call and check on you, make sure everything's okay, see what they decided, what they're going to do. Well, they always do. We've never had no problems. I mean, you start having too much problems, they're going to send you life flight into Lexington. So, you know how that goes. Well, I know you don't want to go to Lexington, but, you know, if that comes down to the nitty-gritty, you have to. At least you'll be close to Larry until Friday. you only be 20 minutes from Larry. Well, I'm not going to keep you tied up, honey. I knew, I didn't know if you were going to sleep or what you're doing, but... I just wanted to check up on you, make sure you're doing okay. Let's see if the test results and stuff came back, and the nurse said they're waiting on them still. Besides that, everything else is going good here. Huh? I don't think so. You want him to? Okay. Arnold Massa, do not feed the cat. He already fed him. Okay. He said, okay. Yeah, I know. Great. Yeah, the wife's okay. She just wasn't feeling too good, so she went over to the hospital to get checked out. Okay, baby. Well, I'll get off here and let you do what you got to do. I'll give them another hour or so, and I'll call you back. Love you. Bye. Sorry, people. I had to check on the wife. You know, Vaughn Hilton says that he's a good father. He wasn't even there to watch his kids be born. How can you call that a good father? Instead, he was at home doing a live video. A live show. Instead of watching his wife give birth to his children. That's one hell of a dad. And that's all they were to him, whatever. That's all they were to him. He knew he'd get some food stamps and he could possibly get cash for them too. You know, he said something about the Frost uh, took Andrea's $25,000 when she moved down there. The Frost never took a penny. His mother never took a penny. Vaughn Hilton spent it on new computer stuff. He got himself a brand new black computer.
Hey, Larry, how's it going? <laughs> good, good. Yeah, he is real easy to read. You got that right, whatever. We might have to fend for ourselves tonight, Arnold. Okay. They took a bunch of tests from her. They're waiting for the results. I'm just letting my boy know what's going on, people. Hey, Vaughn Hilton, you like doing interviews? You like talking shit to people? Why don't you do one with me? Where I can tell you when you're fucking lying, because I know when you're lying. I'm around you, buddy. I, I ain't on no damn computer watching you every day. I see it personally. You know, you say Jim and Millie's the one that caught CSB? No, the school did. And if it gets drawn back to court again, the school will be there. Children's Services is going to be there. The man that bought your dad's tractor will be there. The lady that cleaned your house that watched you sell the guns will be there. You know, I did find out something that was real weird and I thought was funny as shit. You know, he says his mom sold the businesses. She did. Did he tell you who she sold them to? I found out it's the gentries. The same people that he's going to get his kids back from CSB and send them to him. They're all cops, he says. Don't sound like they're cops to me. Sounds like they're people that owns nursing homes because she owned two and a half nursing homes. The other half was by a gentries. The gentries bought her out. Vaughn Hilton, before you start playing, buddy, and start accusing people, 
you better make sure your facts are right because our lawyer is doing a lot of checking up. Our lawyer knows exactly what your mom got for them nursing homes. We, your, my lawyer knows exactly what your mom paid for every house, what she sold everything for. There's a reason lawyers make big bucks, buddy. Yeah, peace out, whatever. Enjoy your work day. I just wanted to get on here and say hi to everybody. Let everyone know I'm still alive. I'm not in jail. But tomorrow we're supposed to be going to jail, Vaughn says. He says he's got court, but it ain't on no court dockets. You know, and he did make up three different stories about his mom. I watched the one today that he did with uh, Miss Parker. He says he left her alone for 30 minutes. He went home and fed the dogs, came back. She was still on the floor, so he went home and called an ambulance. Why didn't he call the ambulance from her phone? Which is five feet from where he was standing. He says, I have cameras. I did have cameras in that house. One pointing towards the living room and kitchen, and the other one pointing at the back door in the deep freezer. Hi, Jeffrey. That time in the morning, I was still in bed sleeping. I can't stay up and watch that 24-7. It's not my job. My job was to pay the bills. Make sure all her bills were paid. And they were. All the way down to the funeral. After the funeral was paid, then I handed it over to Jim. Jim took it to the lawyer and let the lawyer do it all. Not really, Jeffrey. You ain't missed much. Vaughn Hilton says he has court tomorrow, but there's no court dockets at all. What's all blurry? My picture? Or Vaughn Hilton? Hey, Vaughn Hilton, you want to do a Thursday morning coffee? Join me Thursday morning, boy. Well, we're, we're getting a lot of rain right now. We got thunderstorms over us. Fishing, I have the picture black. Yeah, so I'm calling out Vaughn Hilton. Let's do a Thursday morning show, Vaughn. Let's see how you can handle the... Oh, fuck, I forgot. You can't do it tomorrow. You got court. Ha ha. 
John Way, you better keep your nose out of people's business because you could get hurt. Hello? Yeah. Tell them marketers, man, they drive you crazy. Yeah, we can discuss about the flat earth, Vaughn Hilton. How flat is the earth? We can discuss about how you're a good father because your kids are getting rewards from school. They all get rewards from school. What are you, fucking nuts? You think your kids are special? Every kid that goes there gets rewards. Yeah, exactly, David. Looks like the rain's letting up. Good. Yeah, see, I didn't know that four acres. Hell, it's that that's been six months or that's been over a year. He should have had them in his name already. Vaughn moves very slow when it comes to anything. You know, it's just like when that will come apart. Why did he wait six months to bring up that will? If I knew my mom had a will and I knew I was the beneficiary of that will, you don't think I would have went to and found it the next day? The will that Jim and Millie had was for the grandchildren, even though Vaughn says they wouldn't get it. And that's bullshit because they would have got every penny of it. Oh, I'm going to go to prison. I'm going to die. I'm going to hell cell. I'm going to get three life sentences. 
I ain't getting shit for nothing. You got to be, you got to do a crime before they can get you in jail. Now they got to prove it first. First thing he's got to do is prove that his mom had that much money, which we all know she didn't. Hi, Bobcat. Welcome to the show. Yeah, he wants the death penalty for all of us. you don't agree with him, then you get the death penalty. Mighty Vaughn Hilton has spoken. Hello, Maggie Dow. Were you making a pizza or pizza bites? I say, I smell it. Sounds like you did, Maggie. <laughs> no way most I've ever seen in her bank account at one time is when I direct deposited a check from the wherever the insurance company that she had She turned in one of her insurance policies and got almost $30,000. That's the most I've ever seen in her bank. Did Miss Alice keep money around the house? Yes. But not millions. She'd keep five, ten thousand 10000 laying around. Maybe even a little more. Hey, Vaughn Hilton. You better be able to prove that you didn't steal the money from her and the savings bonds and all the jewelry. Yeah, she had a rainy day fun. You know, the whole time I was in charge... I never knew nothing about a safety deposit box. 
And then after she died, I was asked about it. And I was like, I didn't know she had one. They said, well, she has a key. I looked on her key ring. She didn't have no keys for a safety deposit box. But all of a sudden, Vaughn Hilton has the key. And he went there and said there wasn't no money there. There wasn't no jewelry there. There wasn't nothing there. I think he took it all out. He literally closed her bank account and put it in his account. And Vaughn Hilton, they will be checking your account too. They're also going to check a safety deposit boxes that you have. I'm going to say the loony bend, Maggie. That's where he needs to go. Exactly, Bobcat. I don't know, Bobcat. I, you know, I've never got into war bonds. I don't get into that kind of shit. I've never had money like that. I worked every day, and I paid my bills every month. Made sure there was food in my mouth. And when I was younger, I made sure the Jack Daniels was in me. <coughs> Excuse me. I never had money to go buy bonds. Neither did his mother. I hope he is stupid enough to swear to the judge because he will definitely go to jail. Yeah, exactly four acres. That's the only bonds he's got and getting. He says that Jim and Millie's on welfare and he don't know how they bought all that shit. I can clearly tell you, Jim and Millie has never been on welfare. Yeah, that's what I say, too. All the more bonds were collected back in the 60s, if anything. And you tell me how a 14-year-old, 15-year-old girl got a hold of them. Sure wasn't her mommy and daddy that gave them to her. Because her mommy was already dead. Her husband didn't make that kind of money. 
he was lucky they were bringing $45, $50 a week home. That's when you work the whole day and only make 25 cents, 50 cents. But she's a rich millionaire. And uh, they say them $1,000 bills, the last one collected of them was in 1969. So you have to really be filthy rich to get it. And the wife is home. Hold on a minute, people. Well, there must not have been too much wrong with the wife. She's now home. No, they were $1,000 bills. They wasn't note. Well, they could have been called notes. Yeah, I noticed that too, Turner. The prices went up every time he says it. It went from 32,000 to 32 million. You know, and if Alice did have money, you got to remember the properties that she bought. How much did she send for child support to get him out of jail from paying child support? And paid that child support the whole time to that boy was 18. Paid all Von Hilton's bills until the day she died. Is that 800 million? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know, Turner. Too many zeros for me. Bobcat, nobody knows exactly how many times he stole from his mother. Let me mute it.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, whenever we go to court again, because it ain't tomorrow. I seen a clipping today. I don't know who posted it. I don't know if it was so secular or if it was that pizza guy. But uh, someone posted it where Von Hilton was cussing out the attorney White. I want that sent to White. It's not hard to find him. The only white attorney that lives, you know, fast yachts and big women. Yeah. Well, it ain't on the court docket. Maggie, I don't know. I'm thinking Ronnie, Ray, and Marsha. Yeah, you know it's me, David. I did it all, buddy. Larry is the troll king. I'm not trying to be. I just don't like people talking shit. You know, I, sometimes I might be wrong and I'll admit I'm wrong. Only problem, David, he ain't got no money. He's barely above water. Honey, I'm getting hungry. I don't know if you got enough power to cook or not. Hello? Hello? You know, you're wasting your time and my time. If you ain't going to talk to me, don't call me. Yeah, exactly, David. All right, Maggie, we'll talk to you later. Let the doggy out. Bye, Maggie. Wife says bye, Maggie. It's his money and he wants it now, David.
Yep, exactly, Turner. He's missing that cash and that food stamps. Yeah, that's kind of what he thinks, David. Hello. Your caller number ninety. Hello. Yep, I remember Turner. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, Bobcat. Hey, now my viewers are picking up. 41 viewers. Only got 11 thumbs up, so nobody must like my video being on today. I ain't getting too many thumbs up. If you guys like me being on here, give me thumbs up.
commercial break. Don't forget to drink your Dr. Pepper today. No, Misty, he cannot prove it. Yeah, that would be funny, Dave. That I would I would love that, David. But he ain't got nothing compared to what them kids already got. Them kids are sitting pretty right now. You know I did, David. You know I did. No, I don't know there, Bobcat. If Vaughn was able to catch him, he might have. <clears throat> I'd like to see what that house looks like right now. He's been in it almost a year now. Yeah, I would like to see what it looks like right now. Yeah, it probably is, Bobcat. Yeah, David, I hear you. I see that. Couldn't believe he still thought he was supposed to get Jerry's check after they took Jerry out of the house. Sorry, that check goes right with Jerry. No matter where Jerry's at. Right, it's for Jerry's care, period. I wonder how many times did Vaughn Hilton take Jerry to his doctor's appointments? Because with Jerry having special needs, he had to see special doctors. I got a $100 bill that says he never took him to one. Yeah, exactly. His mom wasn't around to tell him to change his socks. Yeah, I know that, Tammy. That's his mom's old room.
with Vaughn Hilton, it's hard telling what bugs they are. There you go, Lord of the Fruit Flies. I don't know, Light. Hi, Minnie. Oh yeah, Misty. That's that that should be in the paperwork too. Hello, pizza. No, I'm not going to the courthouse. Yeah, that's how stupid he is, David. Hello. You know, uh, if you talk, I might be able to talk with you, but you ain't talking, I'm hanging up. Yeah, I'd love to see that, Bobcat. Just let the answer machine grab it for now on. Now, unless he's using everybody else's IDs. And I don't think he knows how to do that. I don't know. Mm. 
I hope he does, Turner. Well, I know he's not going because it ain't on the dockets. Dockets are easy to find. Kentucky dockets are very easy to find. You can find out who's going to court. I don't know. We have any leftovers from last night? He gums it to death. Hell, he might be using his mom's teeth. But really now, ribs ain't hard to eat without teeth. It just matters who's cooking them and how they turn out. Because I've had ribs with my teeth, and they be hard to chew, but I've also had some that just fall off the bone.
I don't know. I ain't read it yet. I'm waiting for Millie to send it to me. He's done it all. I mean, he's 300 years old, David. He's done it all. I'll tell you one thing Vaughn did that I like to have did, and that's go to Woodstock. But do you think my ma would let my 16-year-old sister take me? Hell no. Did you go to it, Richie? Cool. That's cool. You still got the tickets. Yeah, that's, you know, and that's what people are supposed to do. You're supposed to go to places and keep them tickets. Cool. Yep, exactly, David. Yeah, that's whose uh, videos I've been watching, Mr. Pizza. Yours. I even uh, sub subscribed to you today.
Yeah, exactly, Todd. Exactly. Not just concert, a dope fest. It wasn't just concerts, people. That was also a dope fest. As we call it right now, that was 420 party time. Yep, exactly, Four Acres. That's what it was all about. The drugs, the rock and roll, and the sex. Orgies. Oh, they, they were happening. You just didn't see them. Um, I'm waiting for Jim and Millie to send me the paperwork that their lawyer sent to Vaughn Hilton today. I was four years old in 1969. The lawyer did, Todd. Jim and Millie contacted the lawyer. And the, the lawyer wrote Vaughn Hilton back, emailed it to him. Mm. Time to plug in the laptop. Give me a record. No, he's not no 180% Cherokee. Yeah, there ain't nobody 180. Well, I can't say there ain't nobody 180%. There still might be. But I thought it only went to 100%. 50% from your mother and 50% from your father. Would make you 100%. Yeah, that's what I thought, David. Well, name unavailable, my answer machine's grabbing it.
His daddy was white. White as can be. And so was his mommy. And so were their parents. Yeah, Vaughn is white. Well, no, really, he's becoming black. But it ain't the color, it's the color of his skin now. Just look at his hands, they're black. You want another muffin? What? A muffin. A muffin. That you just ate. Yeah. You want another? No, it's falling apart. He should have buttered the cupcake things better. Because they're sticking to it. I'll wait till dinner. I'll have one at dinner. It's up four thirty, honey, so I would start dinner. Well, people, I think I'm gonna get off here. I've been on here an hour and a half. Wife's home. She's getting ready to start dinner. I want to spend some time with her. We're going to watch a movie tonight. She wanted to watch it last night, but my tablet wasn't working too hot, and uh, I was tired. I got up too early the next morning before that. But we're going to watch Aquaman tonight. What on? But I appreciate y'all coming in and seeing me. And I will be on tomorrow too. I'm going to see what happens tomorrow. So we can all get together and laugh. I might do a big Larry show. I just can't do no wake and bakes in the morning. Because I'm completely out right now. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Todd. He probably, he, he is an STD. No problem, Richie. Like I said, y'all join me tomorrow if you can. Yeah, exactly. And I'd say it, it ain't the size of it, it's how you use it. From me, one incher. Y'all have a good day. Appreciate y'all coming. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Vaughn Hilton. Come on. Do a live with me, boy. Let's do a live together. Let's see how much balls you have. Y'all have a good day. Peace out.